Hi, my name is Jeff Demore. I'm with Converter Accessory Corporation, and today I'll be speaking with you about one of Converter Accessory Corporation's flagship products. It's called the Wrinkle Stop Anti Wrinkle Roll, and it's a roll that uses a, a linear smooth surface to remove wrinkles from your web. This is the Wrinkle Stop in the 5.5 inch diameter. Um, the 5.5 inch diameter is available up to about a 100 inch face. Uh, we have a smaller diameter, there's a 3 and 3 eighths inch diameter, and for that's available up to about a 20 inch face, and then we have an 8 inch diameter that's available over 200 inches. But our most common size is the 5.5 inch diameter because it fits so many applications. The wrinkle stop is manufactured with a rubber sleeve, it's a smooth rubber sleeve. On each end of that rubber sleeve, we have a clamp collar that clamps and holds that rubber sleeve in place. Now from the outside, the wrinkle stop, a lot of times it looks like a rubber covered roll, but it's not a rubber covered roll. There's actually a sleeve, a rubber sleeve that looks like this. This is the rubber sleeve that's mounted across this roll's face, and you can see that the inside is hollow. And then that sleeve is supported by a series of rubber discs. So these discs are inside the rubber sleeve, and that's what holds the rubber sleeve up. The reason we have the discs is, as this roll is rotating, this sleeve stretches and contracts with each revolution, and the discs bend back and forth with that stretching and contracting action, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Now, as I said, the wrinkle stop is a smooth surface, and it is linear. There's no grooves, and there's no bump. The way this roll works is it has a, a metal clamp collar that clamps and holds that rubber sleeve in place. And what we do is we angle this collar. So right now, if you were to take a tape measure and you measure this roll's face, the roll face on this side of the roll is around a little over 27, it's about 27 and a quarter inches. If you measure the roll face on this side, you'll see that mention is about the same, about 27 and a quarter inches. So what we do is, <clears throat> we take this collar, and I start to adjust, this is um, um, the adjustable bearing ring, that's what we call this, and that's mounted on an axle. And then there's a bearing that holds up this collar. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this screw, and you'll see that collar tilt in on this side, and it's tilting out on this side. So as I screw down on this adjustment screw, this adjustable bearing ring is tilting and that tilts the whole collar assembly. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So right now this is not adjusted. Right now this collar is perpendicular to the shaft so it wouldn't have any effect on your web. So as I turn this, you'll start to see that collar tilt. And that's the tilting action of the end caps. Now if I take that tape measure, you'll see that this dimension is now under 27 inches, it's about 26 and 3 quarter. On the other side, you'll see that this dimension is now about 28 inches. So anytime you see a wrinkle stop in the field, if you measure one side of the roll face, it's literally shorter than the other side of the roll face. So what the material does is it enters on the short side, it wraps around the roll and exits on the long side. In order for this roll to operate properly, it does have to be mounted as a dead shaft either. So the center shaft is fixed and the roll face turns around that. So as this roll is rotating, this rubber, the rubber sleeve that's mounted across has to stretch for 180 degrees. Then it contracts for the next 180 degrees. 
But what your material does, it enters on the short side, it wraps, it enters on the contracted side, wraps around the roll, and exits on the long side. So as this roll is rotating, this rubber sleeve is stretching for 180 degrees, and that's the portion that your web is laying on to take wrinkles out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to web this up so you'll see how it runs. So right now, the way this roll is operating, you'll see that this section right here is completely wrinkle free. Now what I did was, up on top, you'll see that this roll, I'm building roll, uh, wrinkles into this material on purpose. I have this roll skewed to this roll. So if you come over here, look at this dimension, this mounting block. You can see this dimension is much uh, this edge is not flush with this, but on the other side, the mounting block is flush. So this, this roll is, is skewed on purpose to this roll. And you'll see wrinkles being put into the material. You'll also see wrinkles in this section because of the non-linear, non um, uh, the non-parallel rolls, you'll see wrinkles in that section. If you come over here, you'll see that all those wrinkles are removed and the web is perfectly flat coming out of the wrinkle stop. Um, now, as you look at that view, you'll see when I... Right now, the wrinkle stop is adjusted to build in the uh, most... It's uh, at its most anti-wrinkle aggression. So if I unadjust this end cap, you're going to see wrinkles start to come back into the web. So now you see wrinkles in this section, and if you want to see those wrinkles removed, I will adjust this end cap and you'll see those wrinkles taken out so it'll go back to being flat. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So now with the wrinkle stop adjusted you can see that the web is perfectly flat coming out of the wrinkle stop. That's what takes out the wrinkles. Another way to show this if there are some skeptics out there of what the roll is doing for you, um, another way to show this is, if you think about it, the rubber sleeve stretches for 180 degrees and that's what takes the wrinkles out. But if I rotate this shaft 180 degrees, the web is going to enter the expanded side and exit on the contracted side. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to make this roll put wrinkles into the material. And you'll see that. I'm going to do that right now. So now when I adjust this, right now this is dead shaft idler. This clamp is holding this shaft in place, so it's stationary, it won't move. If I open up the, the clamp, loosen the clamp, now I can rotate the shaft 180 degrees. So if you look at this, 
you see that you see that shaft turn 180 degrees now look at your web you can see the wrinkle stop is now putting wrinkles in on purpose my rope my sleep my uh, web is entering the expanded side it's wrapping around the roll and it's exiting on the contracted side so I'm literally putting wrinkles into the web now you want to see those wrinkles removed all I have to do is rotate the shaft to where it should be oriented in your machine. You see all those wrinkles evenly taken out and you got a perfectly flat web going across here. That's exactly how the wrinkle stop works. So when you go to mount one of these rolls in your machine, it's important to orient it properly. If you were to, the way I describe it to people, if you were to take a string and you tie the string from one adjustment screw to the other adjustment screw, that's the point on the sleeve where the sleeve is fully contracted. That's the shortest part possible point on that sleeve. That's where you want your web to first enter the roll. As it wraps around the roll and exits, you're coming out on the expanded side of the sleeve. So that rubber sleeve is literally stretching underneath your web, and that's what's pulling out wrinkles. Wrinkle stops are manufactured here in Wayne Gap, Pennsylvania, so everything's manufactured in the United States. And um, Again, the five and a half is available up to about a about 100 inch face. Eight inch is available up to about 200 inch face. And the three and three eighths inch diameter roll is available up to about a 20 inch face. The, this diameter is obviously the most common size. Also, we can run this machine faster. Uh, the wrinkle stop, this particular size wrinkle stop can go up to about 1,000 feet per minute. So this machine can't go 1,000 feet per minute, but I can show it to you running, I can show it to you running faster. So that right there is about the maximum speed of the machine, but you can see again on the output side of the wrinkle stop, the web is perfectly flat. I would like to thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you have any questions, please contact one of our sales engineers, engineers here at CNC, and we'll try to help you out. Thank you.